So let's look at One UI 7 on the S21 FE. So the One UI software update is now available for the S21 FE. I'm currently uh, in the process of downloading the update. Uh, at the time of posting this, um, it's available in two regions, should be Bangladesh and Europe. Uh, my variant is the Europe variant, so uh, it has received the updates and I'm sure the update will be rolling out to other regions pretty soon. So uh, a lot of things have changed in One UI 7. I know the interface, let me just click on uh, One UI 7 upgrade, what you can expect in Android 15. These are some of the changes, visual enhancements, reimagined home screen, simplified home screen, right? improved home screen customized there also changes on the lock screen a lot of changes live notifications new notification layout now we're going to take a look at uh, uh, at some of these changes in one ui 7 and let you know what the difference is between uh, uh, the one ui 6 and one ui 7 on the s21 fe so for now let it just finish downloading and we we'll continue the video from there so the update is done uh, as you can see update is ready to install let me just install now so let's see if we swipe from here right here okay let's just click okay we should be able to uh, see the notifications as you can see now uh, if we swipe from the notification itself in this instance like uh, gmail it has three notifications so you just swipe down from there right to access them uh, there are also three here this is a nice touch the three notifications here from whatsapp i'm not gonna swipe down on that but uh, like i said on gmail you can just swipe down yes that's actually pretty nice if you, now if you swipe from the top right you get access to the quick settings if you can see the quick settings uh, here they're now quite different and if you look at the icons they're now rounded if you can if you can see they're now rounded. Now, this was obviously made for the S25 Ultra. Uh, the design language is made for that phone. But uh, I actually like this. This is a nice touch. Uh, for instance, here you can the brightness, right? You can add the brightness here. You can also add the volume from here. It's a nice touch. Uh, media output, play a song, uh, smart things, modes, or everything is now here so you can even see the way the icons look right even the even the animation you know it's something different about it uh that's a nice touch man uh okay you see the icons the phone icon has changed even the calendar has changed the calculator as well as you can see these are not the icons uh which were there the so the calculator has changed the calendar has changed uh what else okay the the shape of the icons even the the, the design is some subtle changes to it now when you swipe from below you can see that the task manager has changed right it's now stacked it wasn't stacked before right that is changed nice touch now when you come to the lock screen you can also see that the clock styles have changed click on the clock uh this is more like what you get on ios right uh, now let's go to style the different styles here that we can go through Clock. Yeah, more styles than what he had before uh, That is a nice style even even this one now the beauty about uh, One UI 7 is that now We couldn't do this with widgets now we can click and make the clock big, right? So let's say done Right, you can see different kind of clocks. Now with One UI 7, you can also move the clocks around to different spots on the screen. You couldn't do that before. So let me just make this large, I actually like that. Just click OK. Uh, nice touch, One UI 7, actually looking good. Now another change to One UI 7 is to do with the charging. Uh, if you look at the top right, you can see the charging animation. You can see that's the new animation that you get when you charge the phone but if you're on the lock screen uh, the charging animation is different let's just go to 
the lock screen as you can see and then plug in the charger as you can see so that's uh, the new animation that is a nice touch on one ui7 so another new feature in one ui7 uh, is the now bar to access it you need to go to settings and if you scroll up under lock screen and aod just click on that you see here written now bar now there are a few apps that utilize the now bar there's the media player maps clock let's just view more voice recorder and emergency sharing so let's see let's see if we can use the clock right there's the clock and we want to run the stopwatch let's just start running the stopwatch and minimize it already you can see on the top right corner there the stopwatch is uh, doing its thing right now if we lock the screen right and just click you can see that at the bottom here this is where the now bar is located now if i had other apps or utilizing the now bar i could scroll through them by just swiping up right so that's another cool feature in one ui 7 right now one ui 7 also comes with changes to the battery so if you go here let's just go under settings right uh, battery when it comes to power saving now you have more options here when we click there you can see that uh, you can turn the always on display off decrease the brightness to 10 percent those are some of the options you have set motion smoothness to standard so you have pretty much more options when it comes to the power saving let me just go back if you come under battery protection just click there you see that there's basic adaptive and maximum and a maximum before you could only set to 80 percent now you can uh, choose between 85 90 or 95 percent for when your uh, your charging stops so you can it, it can actually stop on 95 percent now or 80 percent whichever one that you want so there are pretty much more options related to that the settings in yui 7 are related to the camera app if you can see the interface has changed if you're used to uh, the one in one ui6 uh, a few things have moved around now if you come to the bottom here you see we click on that now we can toggle some of these settings on and off they can come on the screen you can change the settings move them and close that if you come to the top as well you can see uh, the flash there you can just choose your options here for example let me just turn the flash off uh, you also have an option motion photo on right also on the top, if you come here, you can choose actually the, the, the picture style that you want. Original, uh, this is pause. Now, it's a different uh, kind of UI altogether, but I actually like it. Now, another change to One UI 7 has to do with uh, the widgets. Now, there's a, a lot more widgets. Just click that. If you scroll here, there are a lot, a lot more widgets to go through as you can see you have a lot more widgets you can add to the home screen right a lot more widgets for example let's just come under battery you can see different uh, kinds of uh, widgets for the battery day as you can see now uh, calendar same thing even stylish widgets let's just click hold that maybe and drag it there you can see that's a different kind of widget you can click and uh, even if we make it small you see that the widget is now like rounded we can click and hold it and drag it right uh, the different kind of widget altogether but that is a nice touch uh, let's see what other widgets we can get in here uh, for example clock like I said clock different kinds of clocks here Let's click and hold like that particular clock click it there set alarm can even make it smaller so a lot of customizations have uh, taken place now i know i left out a lot of features but uh, that's just my first look at one ui7 for the s21 fe but initial impressions i actually love this upgrade it feels like uh, a major upgrade from uh, one ui6 and uh, the animations are smoother uh, like even the new design of the icons the interface is much cleaner than it was before now I'll need to maybe play around with it a bit and uh, come with a full review of the S21 FE 
after One UI 7 upgrade. Uh, but yeah, I, I like it. So stay tuned for that if that's something that you'd, wa you'd want to, to watch. Uh, I'm sure I'll have a review maybe in a week's time also. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next uh, video, guys.